Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with inkandinspirations.com and welcome to week six of our 12 weeks of Halloween. I can't believe we're already halfway through the series. And this week I have a question for you. Have you ever been booed? I don't mean in a bad way, I mean in a good, fun way for Halloween. Well, for this week's project, I'm showing you how you can uh, delight someone this Halloween season. This is a little door hanger. And if you've never heard of this little um, tradition, uh, you can look it up on the internet or if you will visit my website at inkandinspirations.com where this project is, then you will see links that tell you all about it. And the gist of it is, is that you leave a little sign or a little note or both on the door of a friend without them knowing. It's like a secret. And then uh, below it or with it, you can have a bag full of goodies and treats. So let me just uh, show you how I put this together. I've used the um, Boo To You Clean Stamp Set and the Make A Difference Alphabet Set from the annual catalog. And I've also used these letters uh, that are the handwritten prose dies. And so what I did is I started with a piece of gorgeous, gorgeous grape. It's cut at two and seven eighths by eight and a half. Okay. And then I took my two inch circle punch and came on down and I centered it right there. And let me explain this first. This is, I textured that with the stylish scroll embossing folder. And so what I did is I just ran it through the big shot and I pushed the bottom part of the tag in as far as I could and ran it through. And so up here, I want to have room for my circle and I'm going to come on down and push it all the way in. It's going to cut off some of the scroll or the texture, but that's okay. Okay, and so we have that. And then I want to show you what I did for the uh, You've Been for the letters. So I have my Stamparatus, and I positioned as many of the letters as I could. The E is used three times, okay? So I have it right here, and you'll see it in a minute. And the beauty of this is that I can stamp three times and it's gonna go over the same area every time. So I'm gonna get Gorgeous Grape. And I've got my Whisper White cardstock there and I'm inking up my letters. And then I'm just gonna pull it over and stamp. Okay, so that little O didn't come out like I wanted it to, so I'm gonna ink that up again. Same ones, I'm not gonna move anything yet. And stamp. There we go. So now I want to take the E, okay, and move it over to be the second E and then. So let me ink that up again. come on over there we go and now I want to take it and move it to the end of you've and so I'm going to place it over here on my stamparatus and get my ink and stamp again Okay, there we go. And so what I did for my apostrophe, because it is very, very small in the alphabet set, I just drew it in. Okay, and I have some straight ink marks, but it's Halloween, so that's okay. Make it a little eerie. And then all I did here was just cut these out. And I used all uppercase letters to make this stand out just a little bit more. And here's the bin. Let's trim off a little off that bottom. 
And let's get the Stamparatus out of the way. And then we're going to pull in this tag again. So the next thing I did is I just arranged that like that. And I already have this little guy from the Buddha You set colored with my Stampin' Blends. And so I can put him just right down here, close to the bottom. And then this U bin is going to go here. And then what I did with the letters, since I wanted them in purple, which is this is gorgeous grape, but to make them darker, what I did is find my sponge dauber and I inked them up. So I'm just going to go ahead right here on my work surface. And this is going to give its gorgeous grape on gorgeous grape. And it's just going to give a darker hue of this color. Okay, we'll just continue on and do that. And then to attach them to the tag, I just used my Tombow liquid glue, the multi-purpose glue. It's sticking to my fingers with the ink. Okay. And there we have some bold, gorgeous scrape letters. And then I just position them and then pick them up after I got them like I wanted them. And really, you don't want it in a straight line. It's more fun to just scatter them and then you don't have to worry about getting it all straight. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there like it is. What I did next is I cut an angle right here so that it would slip on the doorknob easily. And then you can see I've tied one of our glittered organdy uh, bows around the the handle opening there and the little guy has googly eyes from the assorted set in the holiday catalog and there you have a cute little uh, tag that you can leave on someone's door okay i hope you'll give that a try visit my website at inkandinspirations.com where you'll find out more information and i will see you again soon take care bye bye